And finally tonight, as we teased yesterday, Congresswoman Ann Custer visited Claremont to discuss expediting travel and business from Canada to benefit the Grand Estate. She stopped in at the Claremont Community Center at 3 p.m. to discuss promoting travel, commerce, and the National Security Act. With the assistance of Mayor Charlene Lovett, City Manager Guy Santigate, Amtrak representatives, and representatives from the New Hampshire Department of Transportation. Now, this new bipartisan legislation would attempt to bolster business and tourism in the Granite State, especially our region, which already benefits greatly from tourism, and it would ease travel and commerce between the U.S. and neighboring Canada. Now, we caught up with Custer afterwards. I'm very excited about this piece of legislation. I'm doing also doing a lot of work on bipartisan legislation about the heroin crisis in New Hampshire. So it's one of many, but definitely this is one of the bigger pieces in terms of economic development and the impact on travel and trade and tourism here in New Hampshire. And then the other piece of this for me is really safety. You know, people across the state are concerned about their safety from terrorism. And what we've learned is that um, they, we've stopped 10,000 unauthorized people from entering our country at these pre-clearance facilities before they even get near our border. And I think it's a win-win-win, and I'm really very excited about it. Now, Custer's visit yesterday acted as a precursor to a meeting that took place today between President Barack Obama, First Lady Michelle Obama, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, and Mrs. Sophie Gregoire Trudeau at the White House. The meeting facilitated legislation that would allow pre-clearance for Canadian residents who wish to travel to the U.S., making the process a little bit easier.